Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com, and today we're talking about this, the Cypress Table Lamp from Hubberton Forge. This is the 272121. It is very cool. We'll kind of go over a lot of the details on it. Let's talk about the size to begin with, and this is going to be measured from the tabletop to the very top of the shade, which I have one right here and it's coming in at 34.4 inches tall. The diameter is coming in at 20 inches, and that's really the shade itself. And other people are also going to want to know other details about the shade. 20 inch diameter at the top, 20 inch diameter at the bottom. Uh, the spider is going to be kind of a black gunmetal. And uh, up the side, this is 10 inches up the side, just so you know. And it's always going to be in natural white anna, which is a pure white, just so we all know that too. Okay, moving on, let me talk about a couple other things. So you'll notice there's a choose your finish uh, pull down up there, and it's going to have that, and then that's going to be the main body of the lamp. So that's basically this part all the way up, including the, the uh, finial at the top that's going to be holding the shade on. The accent, which is going to be the other pull down menu down below, is the big disc on the bottom. So you can do them all in the same finish like I did here. This is all black ink. Or you could do a contrasting one, like a vintage platinum would be pretty cool down here. And maybe a darker one up here. It's really up to you. You get to play designer. The um, cord is going to be kind of a silvery cord, which is kind of cool. It's actually clear with a silver in between in, inside of it. So it's a nice contemporary cord to go with the nice contemporary lamp. Okay, moving on from there, why don't we talk about what's going on inside of this, because a lot of you guys are going to want to know more about it. Before that, I want to talk about the design a little bit. If you ever get a chance to see this, it's pretty cool. You actually have three layers of these uh, hand-cut metal that's very jagged, and they're slightly staggered a little bit. So it almost looks like um, a jagged cliff, you know, maybe, maybe on the coast of England, that kind of thing, where you just have a straight drop down. And the cool thing about it is the light's going to be coming from above. It's going to be casting down and over this, what we like to call a rustication, um, over this and kind of give you the appearance of these, you know, jagged little facets. So it almost looks, to me, especially with the black ink, almost like a geode. It's really cool. If you ever get a chance to see it in person, it's very impressive. So that's that. Now let's talk about what's going on inside for lamping. So it's going to be using Hubberton Forge's regular medium base socket. This is a dimmable socket. It has a dimmer built in. There's a little circuit built in here. So not only is it on and off, but it, and you can hear it, click on, click off, and it's a smooth transition. So it's not like the older types where you have like a three-way socket because those bulbs don't really exist in the world of LEDs. It's going to be basically a nice smooth transition. And the bulbs you can use in this are pretty, uh, pretty varied too. So it's an A19. That's the bulb that's going to fit into what we call the harp above. And A19 is uh, basically, this is an incandescent A19. It's the same bulb we all grew up with. We've had this for all of our lives, basically. And you can, you can still get them in incandescence, even though a lot of people think you can't. And these generally are going to max out at 60, yep, 60 on this guy. But if you want to go LED, you can do other things, too. So these are a couple, actually three LEDs that I got out in the world. Um, this is very old, but it still works great. Uh, this just has a, this is another version of this and just happens to have a diffuser on it. These are easy to get and you can get them at any hardware store, home center. Um, my grocery store sells these things. These are the kind of newer ones that people like a lot now. And these are called um, phosphorus LEDs and they're going to have big long strips in them. The reason I like these is because not only do they throw light up, but they also throw light out and they put light down. And a lot of these other LEDs mostly have some cooler spots in the bottom and spend, uh, spend all their energy uh, putting light up. So I tend to like these. And plus, I can find these everywhere. And I went over to a local Walmart in Vermont and found these up to 150 watt equivalent in this same A19 size. And it was, it was doing all the good things I wanted it to do. It was 150 watt equivalent. It was dimmable, which is great. And we'll talk about that in a sec. And um, the other thing is it was in the color temperature that I really wanted. You're going to notice that these bulbs are going to be offered to you in three different types. They're going to be offered to you in 2700 Kelvin. That's super, super yellow, um, kind of like the setting sun. They're offered to you in what's called daylight. Daylight sounds like it's a warm light, but it's not a warm light. That's that cold hospital waiting room light, convenience store light, that bluish white light like an overcast day. So that's, that's uh, cool uh, daylight. It's called daylight. And the, what's in the middle of all that, what we like to use, is called soft white or warm white. That's 3,000 Kelvin, and that's what I have coming down on me right now. That's that nice warmth, 
kind of like an incandescent bulb. So it actually feels a lot like this and looks a lot like this, but it is an LED and that's 3000 Kelvin. That's what we like. And um, the other thing is make sure you buy a dimmable version of that bulb because remember you do have a dimmer on this. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to... A little under two weeks it's it's a very small addition per line item so if you have like one two three items like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish that's one line item so it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things don't be afraid to email us and ask about that okay so that's really it if you guys have any other questions let us know we would love to see you in our showroom sometime and thanks for stopping in